Welcome to this daily yoga flow. This is a full body sequence suitable for all levels and it's designed to give you a little bit of everything for your everyday practice. As we only have 20 minutes, we're gonna get straight into it. So come and join me in child's pose. You have the option to keep your knees together or to take them wider. And then walk your hands forwards to lower yourself down. We'll pause for the first few breaths here to give you an opportunity to check in, to set the tone for your practice. Walk the hands to the left side of the mat. Stack the right hand on top of the left. Walk the hands to the right side of the mat. Stacking the left hand over the right. Bring the hands through center and come up into tabletop, your hands and knees position. And we'll start by moving through a figure of eight, sending the weight forwards into the wrists and then back towards the knees and heels. Going a few times in one direction. and then switching directions. And then come back through center on your inhale, dip your belly, roll your shoulders back as you arch your spine. Exhale, rounding the back, press the floor away and bring chin to chest. Inhale as you arch. Exhale as you round. A few more breaths like this. Come back to neutral. With your inhale, reach the right arm up. And start to draw a circle with the arm reaching back behind you. And sweep the arm forwards and up. Continue drawing circles with the arm. Reaching through the fingertips as you reach up and back. Maybe grazing the fingertips along the mat as you bring the arm forwards. The next time you reach the arm up, take a full breath in, open the chest a little wider. As you exhale, thread the right arm under the left, lowering the shoulder down to the mat. You can keep the left hand by your face for support, or maybe you prefer to walk the hand forwards or wrap the arm behind your back. Come back into tabletop, reaching the left arm up. Start to draw circles, reaching the arm back and behind and then sweeping it forwards. Going a few times through these circular motions. The next time you reach your arm up, take a full breath in, opening the chest. Exhale, thread left arm under right, lower the shoulder to the mat. Right hand can stay by your face for support, or you could reach the arm forwards or wrap it behind your back.
Welcome back to Tabletop. And extend the right leg, keep the toes on the mat. Then send your weight back. And send the heel down towards the ground. So you begin to find that stretch down the back of the right leg. And start to rock forward, sending weight into your hands and rock back, sending the right heel down to the ground. A few more times forwards and back. Then bending the right knee now, open the knee out to the side and start to draw circles with the leg. So just warming into the right side hip joint. Then bring the right foot in between your hands. You could sweep it around and then heel toe the foot in place. Reach your arms up, inhale for low lunge. And interlacing your fingers, flip your palms to face the sky. Reach your arms even higher. With your exhale, twist to the right. And open your arms into a T-shape reaching through the fingertips, creating as much length from the left hand to the right. Take a full breath in. Exhale, the left hand can come down to the mat. The right arm will reach up into a twisted low lunge. And start to extend the right leg and send your hips back. If you are on the taller side, you might like to edge the foot forwards a little bit to create some space. And as you extend the leg, flex the foot. Rebend the knee. Plant the right hand on the inside of the right foot and then you can sweep the right leg back into tabletop. Extending the left leg, toes stay on the mat to begin. Start by shifting your weight back, send the left heel down towards the mat and then rock forwards, bringing the weight into your hands. Move through this a few times, so you're just warming into the back of the left leg. and bend the knees, start to draw circles with the leg. Step the left foot in between the hands. You could either go forwards or you could either go out to the side and heel toe the foot in place. Then reach your arms up, inhale for low lunge. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms and reach your arms up. And exhale to twist to the left. Open the arms into a T-shape, reaching through your fingertips here. Take an inhale in position. As you exhale, right hand will come to the mat, left arm will reach up. And straightening the front leg. Remember, if you are taller, you can scooch the front foot forwards to create space and then flex the foot. You may find it more accessible to keep a slight bend in the knee too. That's worth noting. Rebend the front knee. Bring the left hand to the inside of the foot and then sweep the leg back into tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips and slowly push back into down dog. Hopefully now the legs are feeling a little more ready, but you may still feel like you need to pedal out the legs. And 
and lifting the right leg high, inhale. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Reach your arms up for a high lunge. Exhale, open out the back foot, opening out into warrior two. Relax your shoulders down your back. Then flipping the front palm, inhale to reverse your warrior. Right arm reaches up, left hand can rest on the left leg. Straight in the right leg. And with your next exhale, windmill your arms. Rest the right hand on the right leg, could be upper thigh, could be below the knee. And the left arm will reach up to bring you into triangle. Keep both legs straight. Inhale, lift back up. Arms are staying in a T-shape. Then left hand will rest on the left leg. Right arm will reach up. Big breath in. Rebend your front knee. As you exhale, rest the right forearm on the thigh and reach your left arm overhead for your supported extended side angle. There's also the option to bring the right hand to the inside of right foot. Or if you're really looking to build some fire, reach both arms forward. So you're just relying on your strength to hold you here. Look down for balance. Plant your hands and step to plank. Shoulders over wrists, press the floor away. Gaze down to relax head and neck. With your exhale, you could always lower the knees here. Shift forwards to send shoulders past wrists. Bend your elbows, keeping them close to the side of your body as you lower down through Chaturanga. Then we'll bring forearms to the mat to come into Sphinx. So just gently pressing the floor away, rolling the shoulders back and down. Big breath in here. Exhale, join me back in Downward Dog. Lift the left leg high. Then step the foot in between the hands. Reach your arms up to find high lunge. Inhale in position. Exhale, we'll open out into warrior two. Relax the shoulders. Flip your front palm. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Left arm is reaching up, right hand is resting on the leg. Extend your front leg. And with your exhale, windmill your arms. So left hand will rest on the leg. Right arm will reach up, bringing you into triangle. Keep the legs straight. Inhale as you lift up. Right hand will rest on the right leg. Left arm will reach up and over, lengthening down the left side body. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, re-bend the front knee. And rest the left forearm on the thigh as the right arm reaches towards the front of your mat. This could be option number one. There's also the option to rest the left hand on the inside of the foot on the mat, or to reach both arms forwards if you really want to build some fire. Gaze down, plant your hands and step to plank. Pressing the floor away. There's always the option to lower the knees if you need. With your exhale, slowly lower down. Nice and controlled. Keep the hands under the shoulders this time. On your inhale, lift your chest into cobra. Could be a baby cobra. Could be slightly older cobra, depending on what's feeling good. 
And on your exhale, come back to down dog. Take a full breath in. Exhale it out. Then looking to the top of your mat, take baby steps to walk the feet forwards. Exhale all the breath out in a forward fold. The knees can be bent here. Legs don't have to be completely straight. Then round your spine, roll all the way up to stand. When you're standing tall, relax your shoulders down your back. Then keeping your stance wide for better balance, hug the right knee into your chest. Then keep the left hand on the knee, reach your right arm back and behind to bring you into a twist. So if you are practicing at home, you're struggling with the balance, you could place the right hand on a wall behind you and use that for assistance. When you're feeling steady, turn your gaze to look towards the right fingertips. Slowly release, pedal out the legs if you need to reset. And then we'll switch. So starting by hugging left knee into the chest. You may need to reposition yourself if you're working with the wall. Right hand will stay on the outside of the knee. Left arm will reach back and behind. And then only then start to shift your gaze. Gazing towards the left fingertips. Slowly release, turn to face forwards. Paddle out the legs if you need. And then step the feet wide. Keeping the hands resting at the hip creases. Inhale, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, hinge from the hips to fold forwards. As you fold, you can keep your hands on your hips so you may find a set of blocks to rest the hands on or maybe even reaching for the floor. Let your head and neck go. As this practice starts to shift gear now, we begin to ready the body for stillness. Give yourself permission to relax. With an inhale, lift your chest halfway. And I find it's easiest to use the fingertips on the mat for balance. So if you are on the taller side and the floor is further away, bend the knees to bring the fingertips down. Edge your feet in a little closer. Then turn the feet out and keep sinking your hips down to come into a yogi squat, a malasana. The heels may be lifted like so, that's totally okay. Our malasanas will all look very different. You can keep the fingertips on the ground here or bring hands into prayer. And continuing to slow the breath. Use your hands for support. Slowly lift the hips to extend the legs. Then bring your feet in hips width. Keeping a bend in the knees, bring opposite hand to opposite elbow and start to sway side to side in ragdoll. Just letting it all hang out now. Join me in a seated position. And then resting the left hand by the left side with an inhale, reach the right arm up and over. 
as you bend to the left. Then completely let go of your head, relax the left ear towards the left shoulder, getting a nice stretch down the right side of the neck. Inhale, we'll lift up, bring the right hand to the right side, left arm will reach up and over as you bend to the right. And again, completely let go of your head, relax right ear towards the shoulder. Inhale, we'll lift back up. Just resting both hands on the knees now, settling the eyes closed. And we'll finish our practice with a few moments of stillness here. There is the option to take Shavasana if you prefer, but as it's a short class, I'll be closing our practice here. Stay with your breath. And start to observe the body, just noticing if you're holding on to tension anywhere. And if that's the case, with each exhale, let go of any of those layers of tension. You could start by softening the space between the eyebrows, relaxing your jaw. Lowering the shoulders, softening the belly, and anywhere else that might need your attention. Take a deep breath in. Exhale inside out. When you're ready, flick your eyes open. That completes the end of this class. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. I hope that it's helped set you up for an amazing day. Take care and I'll see you next time.